I'm Nick Barker. I'm talking to you from the teaching laboratories here in the University of Warwick's chemistry department. And uh, we're going to try and do something for you with a, a Christmassy theme. And the idea is, is very simple, that towards the end of his route, uh, Father Christmas is tired and, and Rudolph and the other reindeer are flagging a little bit. So we, we would like really to make for him a, a booster, a little, a little Santa booster, a rocket for the sleigh. And uh, we're going to do that with some well-known Christmas uh, items. Uh, we have some pretty unpleasant brandy, which we purchased from the shop on campus. Uh, we also have a, uh, a well-known carbonated beverage consumed in large quantities at all times of year, but especially at Christmas. And uh, using these two um, things in different ways, oh, and a hand drill, uh, which shouldn't be too bulky for Santa to have with him, um, we're going to um, engage in a simple bit of science, really. We're, we're going to take the brandy and by a process here in the laboratory, in this fume cupboard, by a process of uh, evaporation and condensation, we're going to remove a fuel from the brandy, uh, and then we're going to use that with the empty carbonated beverage bottle to provide the basis of a, uh, of a rocket thruster, which we will make for you. And the idea, as I said, is just to give Santa that little extra push as he comes towards the end of his route. So this is the apparatus that we're, we're going to use. It's um, a stirrer hot plate, which we'll be using in a, in a chemistry laboratory. This is a, a cooker, effectively. There's a, an oil bath on top of there with a thermostat controlling it. Um, that's a round bottom flask, and then it's connected up to a, a condenser and then we're going to be collecting the fuel that we, we remove in, a, in small conical flasks. So all I have to do to get this working, uh, I hope this works first time, is, uh, is to put some of the brandy into the, uh, the rain bottom flask so that we can start the process of removing the fuel. So let's just see how we get on with this. So we're in a, a science laboratory, a chemistry laboratory, so we have to deal with the, uh, the well-known carbonated beverage in the only way that we can, unfortunately. You can't consume anything that you, you bring into the lab, so we, that has to go down the sink. And the next thing I've got to do is, is wash the bottle out and, uh, and get it dry, and then I'm going to drill a small hole through the, the lid of the bottle. And... Uh, what that's going to do is, is to provide a combustion chamber. And the idea is that um, when we get the fuel from the, from the brandy, which is being evaporated and condensed as we speak in the, in the fume hood that's just out of shot, and uh, we then shake the bottle a little bit, and that will fill it with the fumes of the fuel, which we extracted from the brandy. And, uh, and then we tip out the excess, and then we can ignite the end of the bottle. And uh, what will happen is, as, as the fuel starts to burn, it sucks air into the bottle. Eventually, you get a perfect fuel-air mixture. And at that point, the rate of combustion goes really, really fast. And it should, we hope, fire the Santa booster a little way across the laboratory, just giving him and the reindeer that extra push for the final few miles. So having let this um, experiment run for a good while, there's a, a very small amount of fuel here, which we've managed to extract from the... Uh, from the brandy, and so the time has come to put this into Santa's booster to see if we can use it just to give him that push he needs to get home. So we've got the uh, fuel that we extracted from the brandy. We've got um, the well-known carbonated beverage drink bottle with the hole that we put in the top, and uh, what we're going to do is to put a little of the fuel in, and then uh, we're going to give that a swirl. This is really fraught with stress in case it doesn't work. Imagine how Santa would feel. He'd be so tired and all he wanted was a little boost. Be the same level of stress for him, maybe a drawback. And uh, then what I'm going to do, let's really hope this works for us, is uh, pour out the excess. Santa's no fool. He doesn't leave unburned fuel in his boosters. And, uh, and then we will put the top back on. And then I need a launch platform. Now, obviously, in Santa's case, he would just attach this, probably with gaffer tape, I would imagine, to the side of his sleigh, and then reach over with a, with a birthday cake candle on a stick. That's what we use here in the chemistry department. And, um, and it should then provide a, a boost for him, just to, to get back to um, Lapland. Okay, so I'm now going to put this onto um, a launch platform. Now, the launch platform is very simple. It's just, in fact, two melting point apparatus, uh, which is going to provide the um, slightly inclined plane necessary. So I now have a go at hitting two cameramen with a Santa booster. Fingers crossed. I, th I think that's got him home. <laughs>
would have got you, I think. <laughs> it's good fun. Well, uh, that brings us to the end of the demonstration of perfect combustion. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the film as much as Father Christmas did when we showed him. And uh, we would just like to finish by wishing you all a very, very happy Christmas. And please don't try this at home.